Welcome back, Akron fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow Fury 33, bringing you a match between Vicarin and Cybernetic Pony. Yes, Vicarin is back! Which, I don't know why I'm so happy, but Vicarin's a good player. It's, it's nice to see him back again. He gets busy from time to time. But yeah, he's one of the really good players. And Cybernetic Pony, as we have seen, is definitely one of the up-and-coming players, and has done really well for himself. So let's see how he handles himself against a veteran who's kind of out of practice. We're on, you're on Act Natural, which should be a familiar map to people who've been watching the stream for a while. It's got the expansion, or well, southwest, northeast. Vickerin going Vecure in the southwest, and Cybernetic Pony going probably for Grekum in the northeast. No, CISO in the northeast. He is definitely not. He's pulling not. He's pulling out all the stops. That's what I want to say. He's not pulling any punches. That's also what I wanted to say. Because CISO is more of his main race than, or species rather than Grekum is, though he has been playing Grekum a lot, but. That's kind of an experiment. He really is a CISO player at heart. Anyway, the map does have the base of the northeast southwest. It does have expand natural expansion of the south and a easy to defend third over in the corner, both in the northwest and southeast, and then another little expansion next to that, and a couple expansions in the center. And the center itself is very open and empty. And a lot of ramps, a lot of a lot of tunnels, a lot of cliffs. So, there's a lot of ways you can get your units into a position where they can... Well, okay, there's not enough units in the game to really get in a position where choke points are a big deal, but you, I have seen players actually wall off this area right here just to avoid units coming in without getting hit a lot first. Which is not which is not at all usual for Akron, but it is neat to see. More of a StarCraft thing. And... Cybernetic Pony is getting a very early armory. Well, two minutes in armory, so actually not that early. Getting some special ops just for extra defense, and Vikran, on the other hand, is getting. I was getting around. Looks like he might be trying to get used to the fact that he has few resources, but opening RPs. I don't know if Vikran has played with the even start setup, but it looks like he's doing fine, just getting used to that. So he is expanding very quickly to the natural expansion, while Cybernetic Pony is focusing entirely on his main base and getting another importer. So it looks like he's going to go for a very heavy either infantry attack or possibly a very heavy. ATHC attack. Getting this RP here suggests that very heavy ATHC attack or possibly very heavy Lancer attack. Vekir is very commonly going to go for an early Depot and then Zion Pulsar attack, which means that Lancers are the counter to that. Now granted, Teth Pulsar is the counter to the Lancers, but not a lot of Vekir players will do that. Especially not at first. You don't go for Teth Pulsars at first, you go for them in response. And it can be difficult to respond like that. Vikran is going for an early Foundation. He looks like he's probably going to go for an early depot. He hasn't built any infantry to go along with the Foundation. Moving his Zion Veer back, however, he may be using the Foundation to heal on defense from Cybernetic Pony's attack. He has about a minute to prep, and no, a depot is his course of action. Getting a Q Plasma RP, a couple Q Plasma RPs, just to get himself enough Q Plasma for a Zion Pulsar. Going to turn the Zion Veer into a Zion Pulsar, most likely. And then use that to defend against the infantry coming in. And there he goes. He has the resources for it. The depot not quite built up yet, but once it is, the Zion Veer will go in and out oh, pops a Zion Pulsar to deal with the infantry. That should have very little issue, but it will have some issue. See, so infantry are actually quite threatening to a Zion Pulsar. And there goes the Zion Pulsar. However, it is has been enough, and it looks like Vikran probably going to go and throw that into the depot to heal it up. There it is. That depot heal, and Zion Pulsar will win the day. Now, Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, he's... Actually, at this point of view, not doing a lot, but further in the future, he did go for a second armory instead of a second importer. So Cybernetic Pony has changed up his build, or going for a factory rather than a second importer. A little bit surprising there. And Vikran's choice of action, however, is not surprising, and I'm guessing Cybernetic Pony, this is where he's going to go for that Lancer attack. And more than likely Lancers, he, know, he knows Vikran has a Zion Pulsar. He knows that Vikran is going to be probably attacking with a Zion Pulsar. Once he gets the chance, so Vikarin is getting skipped teleport, however, and that's a definite clue that an attack with the Zion Pulsar is forthcoming. So a Cybernetic Pony needs to get that Lancer up if he's gonna do anything. And there it is, there's a Lancer. He has everything prepared. So Vikarin cannot attack with that Zion Pulsar unimpeded. And Shinvir nicely placed as well. Vikarin just making sure that he has a good idea of what's going on. Good idea of what's going on around Cybernetic Pony's base, and likely going to see that factory coming up. Although, maybe not. This Teth Beer might not survive. No, this Teth Beer will not survive that long. But, this Zion Pulsar has no threat. This is... Well... The Special Up and Reen that attacked are... 
not attacking? No, I think they're just dead. Because Vikran's dealt a lot of damage. Yeah, Vikran did a lot of damage and... Double check. No, he's actually... Nope, that's when his infantry hit. That's when his Teth Beer came in. So there's actually no attack coming in. Vikran looks like he's going to be aborting the construction of the Zion Pulsar from the Zion Beer. And then probably reinvesting into RPs, but he might continue to go for the Zion Pulsar. I don't know. He doesn't appear to have changed any other of his actions, but he doesn't have a whole lot of chrono energy with which to do that. Nope, he's still going for the Zion Pulsar. Still going for Zion Pulsar, still going for Skip Teleport Upgrade, and might go for another Zion Beer. He needs to go for another Zion Beer if he wants to get anywhere, and there it is. Another Zion Beer has been built. Now, Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, is getting up a... He does have a Lancer, making sure it's on patrol, and using that to defend a Macrofab build. Hmm, okay, interesting. He's probably going to go for very quick... Uh, maybe Frigate, Mac Frigate Martank. Martanks and Frigates are definitely Cybernetic Pony's unit of choice. He very much likes those. Getting more Lancers just in case Zion Pulsers do come in. And Vikarin, on the other hand, is... He is moving forward with that Zion Pulsar. I'm not sure if he's aware of the Lancers coming up, but he could actually, at this point in time, hit and deal a lot of damage... With, well, deal some damage with the Zion Pulsar. Like I said, CISO Infantry are very powerful against... Zion Pulsars. They're, just, they're quite powerful, actually. They're not particularly tough, but they're very strong. And a foundation being built to try to support the Zion Pulsar as the Zion Pulsar comes in, but that foundation not going down, actually. It is get, being able to get up. That that Zion Pulsar should be able to heal up, but Vikran has jumped back about 10 seconds to rebuild that foundation, and it looks like he's jumping back another minute or so. He might be undoing this attack completely, and no, he has lost his Shin Beer and Teth Beer Oh, but this is going to be tough because Cybernetic Pony does have complete awareness of this attack coming in. The Zion Pulsar is going to come in, and it is going to probably die in the process. He needs to move to a better position. Vikran cannot try to go for this. He needs to move. He might be able to actually get away with moving the Shinbeer over here because he kind of deked out Cybernetic Pony's forces. If he moves the Shinbeer down here, no, he doesn't even need to. Just moving the Zion Pulsar over here and using that instead. However, jumping right into the center of the rest of Cybernetic Pony's infantry, losing that Zion Pulsar, he needs to... I don't think he can, though, but he might be able to get out of there. And he's not teleporting again. He, no, he is teleporting again. This is a risky move, but it looks like he actually might make it pay off this iteration. Hard to say, though. He's unfortunately dealt a lot of damage to himself in the process. He's continuing along this small point in time, just double-checking to make sure that he has everything going for him. But he doesn't, and he's moving out of the way. Nicely done, getting that Zion Pulsar out of danger, moving it back to the depot, and then from there, we'll be able to heal it up not losing that Zion Pulsar, ultimately. And while he's been doing this, Vikran has been moving out a bit. He hasn't really been expanding very much, but he has been... Well, actually, he hasn't been expanding very much. He has a lot of money in the bank, but now he's setting up some RPs, and his foundation should be getting built up pretty soon. Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, his Lancer is coming into position. And unfortunately, the Teth Fear, or fortunately for Vikran, the Teth Fear not dealing with the Lancer right now, and there it goes, getting to the Lancer, but it is going down. So one Lancer going down for free, but Vikarin, well, nearly free. But Vikarin losing the Shinvir and Tethvir ultimately, getting himself an aerial control center, likely to build up some Teth Turchers quite soon. And the Zion Pulsar is fully healed. So Vikarin cannot attack at this point, not effectively, not if he wants to keep his Zion Pulsar alive. But he does know what Cybernetic Pony is entirely up to, and he does actually have a scout force going, and he's using this Zion Pulsar just to make sure that Vi Cybernetic Pony does not expand to the north. Vikarin has... Not expanded much more to that natural expansion. He's going to the center instead, and actually going to the northwest. Just placing RPs around the map. Not really worried about defending them too much. Just sticking them around. Make sure he has resources around the map. Make sure he doesn't run out of resources. Trying to keep one RP per box from the looks of it. Not a terrible idea. If you can keep the control going, it's actually a good idea. And at this point, Teth Turcher being built. Teth Turcher, he doesn't have the money for that. He doesn't have money for another one at this point, but... That's a good idea, getting for that for the Lancers. And at this point, Frigates are likely. Cybernetic Pony is getting Martanks, but then after that, likely get Frigates. And he is getting Gate Tech. A mech has already been built and needed to be built for the Macrofab. And there goes the Chronoporter and Teleporter. Oh, well, Teleporter first, then Chronoporter. And Ground Units also being built up, so these Martanks will become Twin Mars. Vikran doesn't have a whole lot of time to build up. He is moving his Teth... No, he moved his Zion Pulsar in once again, just to double check. It is, however, having to teleport back to base, and there is the Teth Turcher. But he needs more units. Getting a Shin Turcher as well, but... 
needs more units. Vikran unfortunately did not expand a whole lot when he was attacking earlier, so he does have an economic disadvantage, a great economic disadvantage. Cybernetic Pony has six LCRPs and five QPRPs to Vikran's four, five LCRPs and one QPRP. Yeah, Vikran focused a little bit too much on his aggression without actually having anything to show for it, which is quite unfortunate because that was a pretty powerful aggression. That was a nice little thing with the foundation, but unfortunately for him, Cybernetic Pony did have a chance to counter that move his infantry in position in order to get rid of the foundation, or get rid of the Shin Vir before the foundation was even a threat, or even a consideration. So, Vikran needs to get himself more economy, he needs to get more units as well, but it's hard for him to get his economy up at this point. And you can see he's trying to harass, trying to slow down Cybernetic Pony's economy, but Cybernetic Pony at this point already has Chrono Boarding, and at the 738 mark he has moved back a Twin Mar, probably a couple Twin Mars, will likely Chrono Board back a bit more from the looks of it. He can Chrono Board back both! He can't corner back the frigate, however, though. Doesn't have much money for that. But the Twin Mars can be corner back, while Vikarin, on the other hand, he's just patrolling around, making sure that Cybernetic Pony has nothing proxy, but he doesn't know at all, or at least he doesn't have anything prepped to deal with this Twin Mar. That Teth Turcher is not going to be enough. The Shin Turcher even is maybe going to be enough, but barely. It's going to be a Pyrrhic victory with that. Another Teth Turcher coming up, not a terrible idea. Teth and Shin Turchers. That was a very common thing to do around the time that Vikarin stopped playing, or Vikarin went on break. So, I'm not surprised he is going for that. And it's not a terrible idea either, it's just that he doesn't have the economy to really support it compared to what Cybernetic Pony is building. And while it is going to be effective against the Twin Mars, with the Frigate support, it's not going to work out that long. Unfortunately, it's going to help, however, and Shin Turcher is dealing with it as best he can, but... That... Or best it can. But the Twin Mar is still dealing a lot of damage to the Teth Searcher, and the Frigate will be chronoported back fairly soon. Cybernetic Pony, or Lancers rather, are being sent back to help out. And these Lancers... No, the Frigate's got to be chronoported back. There's bound to be a chronoported Frigate at some point. But these Lancers are dealing a lot more damage, and they will be able to finish off the Teth Searcher before the Teth Searcher is able to do much damage. And this Shin Searcher going to go down to the Twin Mars, not dealing enough damage to them to kill them in time. And the Teth Searcher... Is it going to come in? Vikran needs to get that Teth Searcher in. Jumping back to his point of view, 30 seconds down from there, this Teth Searcher is moving in. The Shin Searcher will be fine, or at least will be less dead, I guess. But now the Shin Searcher can go for a depot repair, and another Teth Searcher being built. Vikran may be way too concerned... No, he is way too concerned about anti-air versus anti-ground. It is important to have anti-air, and frigates are coming in, so it is a good idea to have a fair amount of anti-air, but... He needs to get rid of the Twin Mars efficiently. I mean, really, his best bet might almost be, well, I don't want to say Zion Halcyons. Maybe Shin Halcyons? I mean, he needs Halcyon class at this point. He's behind in tech. He's behind in a lot of things. He needs to get his economy first, and then he needs to get enough, well, he needs to get enough units to actually defend the economy he's going to have to build. Because he's going to have to build more economy. He has a couple more L, a couple more RPs, one in LC, one in QP, but even then, it's not great. But... This Teth Turcher able to hold out long enough for the Shin the cavalry to arrive at the other Shin Turcher and the other Teth Turchers. But Vikarin, possibly his best bet at this point would be to go for a harassment attack. I mean, at this point, I think he actually would have enough units to deal with the Twin Mars and Frigate that exist, but Cybernetic Pony could, of course, chronoport back more units to deal with this. And looks like that may be on the agenda. Machinery is being researched. Now I see... I don't know. With the frigate coming in, I think that that's going to be very difficult for Vikarin to deal with. The Ted Searchers will help, but the biggest advantage right now is that the frigates and the Twin Mars are separated, but the Twin Mars are going for an attack. They were teleported in, and now there is an attack coming in for Cybernetic Pony's base. Getting rid of the infantry without any issue, but the frigates and Twin Mars are attacking Vikarin's. So a bit of a base trade going on, and Vikarin not actually paying much attention to his home base. He does have, let's see from his point of view, he does have... Oh, there is death. Okay, not sure why that wasn't showing up earlier. But anyway, the point is, he doesn't have a whole lot of units to defend his base with. This Twin Mars will be able to get in without issue, and the Frigates are moving back to defend a bit, getting rid of the Zion Pulsar, but, or Zion Veer now. But Cybernetic Pony had already taken everything he needed from these bases. Now, Vikarin, at this point, his strategy of economy may start to pay off, but it's hard to say because Cybernetic Pony has expanded, and... Vikarin moving to get rid of the expansion rather than going for the main base. That main base is his only real key. He get rid of the Chrono Porter and 
No, not even then. He needs to defend. He needs to defend hard, and that is not going to happen. He cannot go back in time. He can go back. He is... Looks like he's moving back. He's trying to get his units back, but it's an attack move, unfortunately. They are getting distracted by the last resource processor. By the time it goes in, the Annex is dead! Vikran has lost his Annex. He has no Shin Veer. He has a Shin Tercher. His best bet at this point would be to blow up one of the Shin Turchers and use that to build a foundation with which to build an Annex. That's pretty much the only chance he has right now to rebuild that or just move back to his base rather than do an attack move. That would also work, actually. It looks like Cybernetic Pony is not going for more Chrono He is getting a ma an MFB. Wow, I haven't actually seen that in a while. Doesn't look like he's going to be going for anything more than that, and... Actually, at this point, Chrono is not being used. How odd. Teleporting is being used a lot, but Chrono is not. Cybernetic Pony has enough Q-Plasma to use that... And he's not moving in either. Surprisingly enough, Cybernetic Pony stopped in front of Vikarin's base, and as he's moving in, Vikarin's forces are coming... No, distracted still by the resource processor. Cybernetic Pony keeps sacrificing resource processors to that small army, and he would win as a result. But it looks like he's going to win anyway. A foundation being built just to distract the Trin Mars, and it actually might have done the trick. It looks like it distracted them long enough. Yes, it did. Wow, that actually... That was a clutch move, and it worked out. That foundation able to stop the Twin Mars from attacking the Annex long enough to keep it alive. That's the only chance that Vikran has. He could rebuild a depot from here, but right now it looks like he's just planning on using it for foundation healing. But now a depot could be built, and that was unplayable past Edge. That being said, Chronoporting is still something that Cybernetic Pony has up his sleeve. That is still a trump card. He could still make use of that. These Twin Mars, no. But he still has other units he can Chronoport back to deal with this. And no, he actually has made that clutch move not pay off. The Annex is dead, but a depot is alive, so there is still an opportunity to rebuild the Annex. A little bit more expensive, will take a little bit longer, reduces Vicarin's odds, but at least Vicarin is not completely dead for his sake. But Cybernetic Pony, he has more tricks up his sleeve, moving back a... or Chrono Pointing back. Looks like a couple Tornads and a Frigate, from the looks of it. No, just the one Tornad. Okay. But that one Tornad will actually be enough. It should be able to get rid of the Annex just in time before another foundation can be built, and that'll probably just do the trick and finish everything off. And Vikarin, I think, has lost this game. It's a little unclear, though, because Chronoporting does that. Chronoporting just makes things unclear. Vikarin, on the other hand, actually does have an active economy. That's one thing to bear in mind. Vikarin, in this entire game, at this point, Cybernetic Pony has no Liquid Crystal income. Vikarin does. Or, rather, Cybernetic Pony has very little Liquid Crystal income. He does have a little bit. He has these processors up here that... Are helping him out, but Vikran actually has a stronger economy right now than Cybernetic Pony does. Surprisingly enough. And we don't see what's going on here. However, the blue time wave is carrying that chronoported tornad, and that chronoported tornad is probably gonna seal the game. Like I said, he could still kill one of these Shin Turchers, use that Shin Veer to make a foundation, and then from there he can just set up another foundation, set up another base. But actually, at this point he had enough units to defend. Yeah, actually, he could do that. That would pay that would work out. And in fact, he is able to get rid of these units that were attacking his base in the first place. So, with that Shin Turcher being destroyed, it looks like that might be destroyed at the end. One of the Shin Turchers getting destroyed, I think. And if that was destroyed, the Shin Veer that popped out will be able to be used to build foundations. And if not, this Shin Veer at least. So, Vikran has a chance to rebuild. And it looks like... No, Cybernetic Pony actually does have resource processors to the southeast, which Vikran has found out the 16-minute mark. Cybernetic Pony, 15-minute mark, is... Looks like he's going for another attack. This blue time wave carrying the truth, however, about this base. And Vikarin not quite dealing with that yet. And it looks like another Tarnod Lancer is being sent... No! The MFB is being sent back. And... Okay, it's being sent back into the resource processor, I think. It looks like a Chrono Fragged. We'll have to double check. No, it looks like he's going to a better spot this time around. So, Chrono Point to a more open location. Mobile Field Base is helping out defend this expansion, but not actually helping out the attack here. The attack has already gone down, and Vikarin lost his base, does have some units in play, doesn't have any Shin Veer in play, though. He has Zion Veer. He can continue to build more RPs, but no Shin Veer. His only Shin Veer is piloting this Shin Turcher. That is extremely precious. It looks like he's just going for the kill, though. Doesn't want to even bother trying to deal with rebuilding his base. Just wants to go for it and just try to get a win from here, or at least finish off Cybernetic Pony's economy, make sure that Cybernetic Pony has nothing to work with, and Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, about two minutes down from there, 
getting Tornads and other units in place to actually deal with this, getting infantry as well, teleporting everything to deal with the South Expansion, and a Shinveer has popped out, so this Shinveer can be and should be used to build foundations. Now, I don't know if he's going to go for that. Vikran needs to use that to build foundations because that's his only hope at this point is to rebuild himself. Actually, this area right here would be a great spot to rebuild. Just because Cybernetic Point probably doesn't expect it. That or maybe over here. He's not going to probably be able to run back to base in time. So from Cybernetic Point's point of view, this Shinveer is on its own. But he doesn't have a whole lot of units in play. And at this point, this is his liquid crystal economy. Three LCRPs to Vikran's five or so. Now, Vikran's main base has been destroyed, and his other LCRPs are going down slowly. And there goes more chronoporting. It looks like a frigate or a tornado. Frigate being chronoported back. Just to deal with this area here. This is why I was a bit apprehensive about the Shinveer plopping a foundation down right here. But near the center, maybe it work, or I don't know. I mean, back here would be the safest spot. It's just getting that Shinveer all the way over there in a quick time. Nope, he's going right here. Okay, he's going right for this expansion right outside of Cybernetic Pony's base near the center of the map. And it looks like Vikran will probably build an annex and a Devo from there and then be able to rebuild what he has. And he has, like I said, a stronger economy, getting more foundations. He's not going to be foundation creeping. You can't do that from where he is now. But he is getting a depot, probably going to get an annex here. And then from there, going to get probably an aerial control center and rebuild. He has the resources to do it. Now, Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand... Like I said, slowly but surely losing his RPs. He does have all of them closed right now to the for all the LC ones close to the Teth Searcher. So Vikran continuing to get Liquid Crystal and Cybernetic Pony stuck at 335. Surprising that he hasn't built a whole lot of units though. I, they, we're at his point of view as well. He's not building a lot of units. He's building a frigate here and there, but he's not continuing continuously having production going on. And Shinvir building another foundation. He is creeping with that. And there's the Annex. There's the Aerial Control Center. We should see another Shin Turcher, Teth Turcher pair pretty soon. Cybernetic Pony, about a minute down from here, is getting rid of the Shin Veer. The Shin Veer, however, has already built what it was going to build, and it looks like Cybernetic Pony might. No, he's just double checking the playable past. Can't do anything to that right now. He could chronoport back from the future, but he hasn't dealt with that. And actually, the Teth Turcher is starting to deal with this chronoporter. It's too weak to deal with it effectively, however. Small problem for it, but that is something to point out. And Cybernetic Pony continues to just scout around with the Lancer to try to get rid of these RPs, and it looks like it's going to crash into this... It's going to die to the Zion Veer. No, it's actually skipping past... No, there it goes. It's it's hitting the Zion Veer, and the Zion Veer starting to take it out. No, actually, it's going to be able to deal with the Zion Veer. Well, that's not good, then. Vikran has lost economic advantage at this point, and he still has... No, does he? No, he does not. He lost that Shin Veer. Vikran's lost the game. Vikran lost the game to a Chronoporta Teth Churcher that got rid of a Shinveer that was going to build his foundation set. So Vikran might be trying to go for Gate Tech. Maybe try to Slipgate something back, but I think that's it. I think he can't do anything at this point. That's, well, certainly a very Chronoport heavy game. But not much more can be said. Vikran has lost. Cybernetic Pony has just taken this, and Vikran, I'm not sure if he's aware of what's going on, but I think he's probably figured it out by now. That Cybernetic Pony has taken out everything Vikran has. And... Cybernetic Pony is trying to do what he can with the Chrono Porter, but it's too late. There's no Chrono Ports being stopped by that destruction of the Chrono Porter further in the future, because that destruction is no longer the case. The blue time wave that's now overtaking Vikran's player wave is going to show that Vikran has lost this game. But Vikran, not sure what he's trying to do, if he's trying to get ahead of that. And yeah, we see that the Tornad here that got sent back was able to deal with the Shin Turcher, and ultimately was able to deal with everything. Getting rid of even this Teth Searcher, stopping it from doing any real damage. That, oh, that is painful, because that's basically the game. Vikran had a chance at comeback, too, but Cybernetic Pony snatched it out. And now Cybernetic Pony has won. Vikran surprisingly not throwing in the towel. Not sure why, but yeah, Vikran just double-checking, and I think he's double-checking if there is any chance whatsoever they could possibly get back, and no, there isn't. That is GG. That is game. <sighs> so, I hope you enjoyed that, because I certainly did. And Vikran throws in the towel. Vikran surrenders. That is game. Very exciting game between two very strong players. So thank you all very much for watching. That'll be it for me tonight. So have a good night, everybody.